Hey guys, let's make a little render with this character using better pie menu. I will show you, you can do everything in the 3D view and I will also show you some nice tools. So first, let's go to the uh, material here. Uh, if I press shift to Z, I will show the shading pop up and I will activate sunlight for later. Right now, this is using this Ajari uh, map here. So if I press control shift and middle mouse button, I will be able to rotate it and change the power of this light as you can see here, okay? So I will keep it like that right now. Let's add some materials to your object. I will call the, shade, the material pop-up. I will create a new material. On this material, I will add a texture. Hop. Let's use this one. And a normal map. Let's use this one. Uh, I just added this. Uh, this is to test uh, to create the maps directly like that. So I'm not sure I will keep it, but uh, I think this is nice. Uh, let's decrease the roughness and let's add, uh, let's see, a frosted hair. Let's decrease the roughness too. For the floor, let's add a simple plastic. Same, let's decrease the roughness, the roughness. So that will give us this result. I can disable the grid if I don't want to use it. Okay, so right now we have this. We can continue to edit the environment light like that. I will keep it like that right now. I will press Shift A. I will go to light and I will press Ctrl Shift on the drop point lighting like that. That will create a drop point lighting here. And as you can see, I have some light. I can move them. And if let's see, I select the uh, sphere, the empty sphere here. Yes. If I move it, as you can see, the light will follow this uh, empty here. So like that, I'm sure to have what I want. Let's move this one here. Let's change the scale, the size with the uh, model for the light. Let's do the same for this one. Let's move it here. Let's change the size. Okay. Let's select this one. Let's move it here. Like that. Same, I can change the size or not. I can also change the power. Okay. So let's select the object or anything and I will be able to edit, as you can see, the environment here. So if I decrease the environment here, I will have this. I can increase this. I can increase this one too, like that. Uh, maybe this one is a little bit too rough. Let's keep it like that. Let's increase this, like that. You can also press uh, Alt R and B to call the. Uh, I need to name to change the name. It's not correct. Uh, to change the settings, for example, you can change the power. You can disable the light if you want. You can change the color. You can use the temperature if you want also. Okay. So let's uh, make something like that. Okay. For this one, I can decrease the uh, saturation. And for this one, I can increase the saturation. Up. Like that. Okay. So we have this. What we can do is to call the shading pop-up. Come here and choose a cycle uh, viewport the noise. Like that, I will use cycle with the viewport and uh, the noise. Easy peasy. I can also split uh, the area like that. Uh, let's swap it. I want EV. Hopla. Oh, it doesn't work in fact. Okay. So let's use this here. Uh, let's come here. I will press Shift A. I will choose camera and I will click on add camera to view. That will give me this result. I will call this smart menu. Uh, I will set the uh the fun resolution here so as you can see you have this this etc you can choose whatever you want so let's zoom on our object i want to make uh, it like that let's select this object uh, to be sure okay so i will press a select my camera disable this so like that i can zoom on it press t Z to go overlays. So as you can see, I have access to everything. So maybe let's rotate this one a little bit uh, up or rotate, move it uh, and increase the power of this one. Yes, this is nice like that. Uh, maybe decrease the saturation. It's a little bit strong. Okay. What I can do, press A, select my camera. In fact, I will do it here. 
So A, I will select my camera, so call this smart menu here. And what I will do, I will activate the depot field here. And I can pick uh, a distance, but I can also, let's move, let's keep our mouse on it. Press Ctrl Shift to create an empty. Ctrl Shift click. And that will create an empty, as you can see. And I can snap it where I want exactly. I can scale it if necessary too. Okay, so let's select the camera once again. Let's change the value to 0.1, uh, maybe 0.05, like that. And as you can see, I have some uh, depot fill here. So maybe 0.25, like that. This is better. Okay, so as you can see right now, we have uh, all of this. Uh, let's maybe up. Attends, let's activate this. Maybe, yes, up. Let's try to have something nice. Yes, this is not so bad. Up. Okay. Uh, maybe like that. Let's zoom. Okay. I like this one. What I can do is to select my camera once again and lock this here. Okay, so you can also press Shift Z. Uh, let's hide this. Uh, in compositing, let's activate uh, lens, lens distortion. Let's decrease the value to 0 0.2, like that, or maybe to 0 0.1. Okay, this is nice. You can also add some other uh, things like the um, brightness contrast, exposure, etc. You can also press Shift Z and Shift click on uh, Shift and click on cycle. Click on Shift and click, and you will have the color management. And here we will have the uh, white balance. So you can edit the white balance to have what you want, and you can change the temperature here, as you can see. So let's try to have something nice. Yes, I like this. So uh, it seems I have something nice right now. I will try to make a render. So as you can see, I made, uh, I did everything inside the 3D view with some uh, menus. Hopla. I need to select an object for the pop-up, the shading, and the smart menus, uh, etc., etc. You have access to everything. Uh, I can also save my scene, save as, like that. So let's save as. Uh, let's name it uh, Croco underscore 001. Hopla. Press enter and save it. Okay. So let's activate this studio. Let's make a render. Uh, yes, I will make a render right now. Uh, one thing I need to change. Uh, press shift and cycle. As you can see, the max sample. Let's enter this, that should be enough. So render, image, and I will have my render here. Like that. I just have to wait a little bit. And with a little the noise, I should have uh, something cleaner. And that's it. Hopla. Let's image. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Let's press one like that. So this is the size, the entire size of my image. So as you can see, this is not so bad. I have something interesting. Uh, obviously, I can make something better. I can add some subsurface scattering, but uh, it was fast. I have everything I need with a better pie menu, and the result uh, isn't so bad, as you can see. Up here. So that's it. I hope you liked this video. I hope I wasn't too fast. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. I will make some other tutorials later.